Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Windbridge 610 PA system. Like most of the other Windbridge uh, loudspeakers, it comes packaged quite, quite nicely. We have the main unit, which again has a a really decent feel to it. It's a nice smooth plastic. We'll go around the unit real quick. It does have a belt clip on the side here. It does take a DC 5 volt uh, mini USB or micro USB in, I mean, which I really quite like. That's one of the main main things I look for in a PA system so that I can charge it off of my USB charging uh, power bricks or off of uh, a solar charger things like that when I'm out using these. It does play off of USB, which is really quite nice. Looking around the other side, they have a TF card slot, so you can play music off of your TF card as well. Then on the top, we have a mic volume, as well as the unit volume and on-off switch. Then you have ports in for a wired mic and the auxiliary. Across the front here we'll show you, it does have an LCD display as well as your main play functions for the built-in MP3 player. You do have the net, or the, sorry, the previous a record button, your play pause, the mode button, and your forward or next button. It does have Fairly decent feet. I think it'll, it could get knocked over pretty easy, but it's enough that it will stand there on its own, which is quite nice. Next, we see the uh, user manual, and hopefully, we're going to try to get through this without looking at it too much. But I do want to double check to make sure on a lot of these systems the mode button switches, and this one it, it is the same. The mode button will switch between your mic and playing music on the SD card or on the USB card. Opening up the rest of the box, we have the Winbridge standard um, shoulder strap, which is really quite nice. It has really decent buckles on it or uh, clasps on it. I like these a lot better because they're much easier to do manage and to deal with than the uh, keyring style. Much easier to uh, deploy and to put away. They also provide a charging brick which I really really appreciate. A lot of these do not come with this kind of a, a charging brick and though anyone who has a smartphone these days will probably have one lying around it's really nice to have one dedicated specifically for this unit. They also provide a small three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable. Another really really nice little added uh, piece of equipment to this setup. You have your USB charging cable, and then you have a wireless microphone. Straight out of the box, it does look like it does have power. So we'll try to uh, pair this up and then see just how well the sound is. Okay, so it, this one did pair automatically uh, straight out of the box. Get this on here right. It did pair straight out of the box. And now we'll see. We're not getting a whole lot of volume out of here, so we'll kick up the volume. We did get some squeal there. And the mic volume is all the way up. So there's a, a little bit of a little bit of volume coming out of this. It's not not the best. Uh, it has a little bit of distort. I don't know if you can tell the difference in these. Let me uh, see if I can't adjust volumes a little bit here too. You can pick that up, and now I've got you know if I move this up quite a bit, 
I have quite a bit of volume, I guess, now. Not the uh, loudest of PA systems I've heard. There is a fair amount of feedback here. We'll uh, turn it down just a bit, hopefully, to cut back on that. Um, and it has a little bit of a tinny quality to the sound. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not, but it's not horrible. But there is definitely a little bit of a tin to it. Um, all in all, though, it's a pretty, pretty decent amount of sound, and I love the fact that it is wireless. That way, you can be, you know, quite far away from the unit itself and still be free to talk. You don't have to worry about having it clipped to your belt, uh, which will help a lot with uh, the squeal, things like that. It's. A great, great little unit. It does come in other colors if purple is not the color for you. And there are a lot of adjustments that you can make with this that I quite like. Um, again, I don't know if you can tell, but there is just a hint of ringing when I turn it up. I turned it off there, sorry. A little bit of ringing when you turn it up. But it's definitely doable. Um, there's enough volume coming off of this, I think, that you could easily have it in a classroom setting. I think it would work really well in a congregation if you're trying to hear somebody, you know, a little bit better presentations. A giant hall, you're going to want to go with something bigger than this. But it's a really good product. Um,